beautiful, isn't it? I wish I could go outside and maybe make a snowman, but it's freezing and there's not enough snow outside to make a snowman. Well, maybe instead of making something out of snow, we can make something out of paper. We can make something that could be enjoyed anywhere, wherever you live, even if it's snowing or not. Today, we're gonna make a paper snowflake. All right, so for this project, you're gonna need six pieces of paper. I'm using printer paper, by the way some scissors, a stapler, some tape, and maybe some cute, friendly assistants to help you out through this journey. Now I'm gonna show you how to make one branch of a snowflake. You're gonna start with your paper and you're gonna fold a triangle bit down, just like Next, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut on this line. So what you're left with is a ginormous triangle, this. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna fold the triangle in half. So it looks like an even smaller triangle. There we go. Now you're gonna unfold that, and we're gonna make some lines with our scissors. We're gonna cut three lines on each side. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. That's one line. That's two lines. And that's the third line. If you see these here, these are not perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. All you need is three cut out lines. You're gonna do the same on this side. Try to make it symmetrical. I promise, even if you have imperfect, imperfect lines, you will have a beautiful snowflake at the end. All right. After that, you're gonna open your triangle up and it should look like this. You're gonna flip it over and this is where your tape comes in. You're gonna take these two flaps and you're gonna fold it in so it looks like a burrito. <laughs> you're gonna take a small piece of tape about this big and you're gonna tape those two together. So it looks like that. You're gonna flip it over and you're gonna do the same with these two. Flip it over again, do the same with these. And then for the last time, flip it over and do it with your big lines. And there you have the finished branch of the snowflake. Continue these branches until you have six of them. Now we're gonna take three of them and make the half of a snowflake. We're gonna take the bottoms of these branches. We're gonna take, we're gonna take them and put them together just like this. And you're gonna hold on to this and make sure none of them are falling out when you're doing that. Time to take out your stapler. Take your stapler and put a staple right where your finger was. And now when you hang on to one of these, two of them should be dangling on that. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing with three more branches. Take the bottom and hold them together. Dangle, dangle, stapler, staple. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these two together and hold it in the middle and do this. Make sure they're not falling off. 
This is the hard part. I'm gonna flip these over just like this so there's space in the middle to take your staple and punch a hole. Not punch a hole, but staple it right in the middle. And now we have a big snowflake, but we're not done yet. We need to seal these sides together so each branch is connected with the other branches, just like a real snowflake. Take your tape and start taping the sides, just like this. Beautiful snowflake. There we go. Doesn't need to be perfect again because you're not gonna be able to see it. You just need the snowflakes connected. That's all you need to know about this process. We're almost done. This is looking spectacular. And now we have a ginormous snowflake that you can hang anywhere. And it's bigger than my head. Wow. <laughs> now that you know how to make a snowflake, you can make small ones, medium ones, large ones, colored ones. You can decorate your room. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye.